Hey guys, welcome back to my vlogmas. I hope you're enjoying it so far, but if not, go back and watch the other videos before you watch this one. Uh, today I've decided to do a makeup tutorial. Not because I'm a beauty expert or anything, or I actually know what I'm doing, but it's just because I love makeup. I'm one of these weird people who just likes colouring in their face, basically. I even made a short film about it, that's also on this channel, so please check that out. So today I have decided just to do like a basic, uh, daily winter makeup look which is a bit festive but not too much in your face so it can be worn every day so and also disclaimer do not call me against any of these techniques these are just what I like to do when I do my makeup so yeah let's get started okay I usually like to start with a primer but I can't actually find my own primer so I just had to nick my mum's mm, sorry mum and yeah, so this was the Garnier Smoothing Perfecting Primer. I don't know if it's good or not, let's find out. It must be a good one because my mum seems to use this one a lot. And of course my mirror's here by the way guys, if you're wondering what I'm doing. I'm actually quite lucky, I got a decent amount of sleep last night, so my bags are not too bad today, so yeah. So yeah, I usually like putting it on the places where my pores are most visible, uh, because I find if I put primer all over my face, my face just gets a bit too slimy, and I don't really like that, so that's what I do. Now moving on to concealer, and I like, use, like to use the Lasting Perfection in collection, in the palest colour they can, because if you're not to test, I'm practically neon white. <laughs> so yeah, I've got a horrible spot as well today, which is really annoying, but hi ho, I can make that disappear, hopefully. And this one up here actually as well. Douse this one in concealer. Corners of my nose. And then under the eyes. I should have really pinned my hair back, I just realised. <laughs> so I'll just I'll move it out of the way because I've got a lot of it. I've got a whole lot of hair. And my hair's not particularly that long, although it's been not quite long recently, but it's just really thick. A lot of it. Okay, and oh my lord, get some under over here as well. So I'll get a nice brown line, nice makeup line, which my mother will then, mother and friends will compliment me on later. I'm moving on to foundation. Today I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Long Wearing in once again probably the palest colour they have. I've recently got this one, but I've really looks like I'm really running out of it, so it's really annoying because it's a special treat. And I absolutely adore this one, but I don't know if I can afford to get another one. But hey, let's see what happens. Does anyone who else wears makeup during the day find like later on you have like this massive foundation about they forget to wash? Because that happens to me all the time, so I hope I'm not the only one. Okay, then I go over my face with a bit of powder. This is the L'Oreal True Match one. And um, it is a brand new one. This is my go-to one, but it is brand new. To there you go. I just... Make my face look less shiny. Don't know why I'm speaking in this bush. All oh, the weird faces you make when you put on makeup. <laughs> there you go. Wearing black is never going to wear makeup. I find if you swipe stuff up onto your neck. It doesn't make too much of a stain. Oh, now I'm looking lovely, pale, corpse looking. It's time to move on for me eyebrows. I'm using this one at the moment, which is the Paradise Pomade. 
basically it's like L'Oreal, I'm not going to try and make the name thing. I actually got this one colour a bit too dark for my liking, especially since I've dyed my hair a bit blonder. But what I do is I put it on and then I go with a squally afterwards. A squally, a squally, a squally. Just see what I mean. This is what I was talking about. You know what, it might not make any difference to any other person in the world, but to me it does. And that's all that matters because it's my face. Next, I do my eyes. And I'm going to start with a primer, the Too Faced Insurance 24 Hour Plus Primer. And I love this. Love this. I always used to get like a line up here and my eyeliner would smudge all the time so this this is a godsend Arr, why am i speaking like this no 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 Now for on my eyes, I'm going to use the Maybelline Cut. Uh, on my eyes, I'm going to be using the Maybelline New York Color Tattoo 24 Hour in the color Eternal Gold. And you might, some people might use a brush to put this on, but because of the consistency of it, I just go full on with the finger. Yeah, and I. I don't really do this very neatly because I usually tidy it up later. As you probably already told with my primer. But hey ho, this is just an everyday look. We're not talking about a party look. If this was a party look, I might blend in with different colours and so, but because it's an everyday look, all I'm going to do is all I'm going to do is go over it with the, my Too Faced Peach palette, which I adore, it's probably the most expensive thing I own, and just go over the lids with nectar. And it's usually by this point where I understand the majority of people who know what they're doing when they put on their makeup usually leave their foundation concealer until after they do with their eyeshadow because I got some nice remnants of eyeshadow here, so I go back and make myself even paler. Paler. Oh, sometimes I just speak so fast that I don't even make sense and I say words weirdly. In my defence, I'm dyslexic, so if you've noticed that in my videos already, uh -huh. I'm sorry. Now I'm going on to bronzer, which I have no idea what I'm doing, it's my version of contour, but hey ho, I can't go out looking like this because some people might think I'm deathly ill. <laughs> uh, the bronzer I'm using is the one from Tanya Burr's Rosy Flush Cheek Palette, which I do quite like, and it's been, it's lasted me a while actually, I can't remember when I got it, but it's lasted me a while, so I don't mind. try and do the figure of three thing and I I generally don't know if I'm doing it right I mean I might be going out every day looking like an actual clown to other people you never know but this is what I like to do yeah because in my opinion I put way too much on this side the <laughs> back in I go with powder I go in with this one, which is a blush, which I've had for so long, the name's come off, but I can't remember what make it is, but it's a very good one, so if you see this version in the shop, get it. Right, 
rosy cheeks. <laughs> Personally, I'm not a big person on highlighter. I, mean, I do like it, I mean, it's done properly. I think it looks gorgeous, but once again, I don't know how you do it. So I'm going back to my Tanya Burr palette and I'm just gonna do a little bit of highlight with the highlighter in there. So that worked okay. <laughs> uh, now I go in with me eyeliner, which is the Maybelline Masterpiece, I think. I can't say anything, guys. That's something you just need to know of me off the bat. No, I'm really close up. Mirror for this. Oh, I'm done. Okay, my camera cut out when I was doing my eyeliner, but this is what my eyeliner looks like now, which came out pretty good. I'm happy with it. And now I've moved on to mascara, which is my Max Factor Masterpiece one. Give it a little heat up. So I've been told that's what gets the clumps out of the eyelashes. I already did one eye when the camera was not rolling, to be honest. Whoa, okay, what's that on my eye? Fluff, fluffy. Today, because of the gold eyeshadow, my daily makeup routine in the winter usually consists of a nice red lip. I adore red lip. I very much go for like the English rose look because of my pale complexion which I love. And my two go-tos are usually this one, the Kate Rimmel one, or the Smashbox. Uh, one that I believe that Superwoman design, it's called Boss, 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 Boss. I can't say it right, I'm sorry. I can't say anything right. I just, I'm just no good with names, I'm sorry. So today I am going with the, the Smashbox one, which because I adore this one. It lasts very much long and I love it. <laughs> I know most people tell you to use a lip liner and I did have one of those ones that um, are like pale so it would work with any lipstick because I don't see the point of buying so many different lip liners for all the different colours of your lip glosses and your lipsticks. I mean I have loads of lipsticks, I'm not going to buy a liner for, uh, lip liner for every single one so I just try to be as careful as I can because I can't find my universal one. makeup look mm. now how do I do that weird close-up thing that majority of youtubers can do oh. <laughs> no we're not serious just guys this is my daily makeup winter look when I have time in the morning or I can be bothered at all because I do like doing my makeup. It's something that I enjoy. I've been doing it for quite a long time. I don't do it to cover my insecurities. I do it to boost my confidence and show the world who I am. So I hope you like this look, which is a representation of what I am in the winter, apparently. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and a comment down below. And please subscribe for the rest of my vlogmas. I hope you're enjoying it so far. And Merry Christmas. Bye! Oh,